Well, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Um, today I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, helmets and uh, kind of start something new. Um, I think Monday is going to be like a Moto Monday. Um, or I'm just basically going to, you know, I'm going to either rant about uh, something I saw um, or talk about uh, a new product that I have or somebody else has or maybe uh, interview you know another writer and and um, yeah just try to get you know content out there to make people aware of, of things going on especially right now with the holiday season upon us um, I'm running into a lot of idiots out there people that are just not paying attention um, just today alone I, I do a lot of driving for work and I mean people are cutting me off slamming you know they're they slamming on their brakes and uh, you know i've had i had four close calls today uh in my in my in my own personal vehicle so please be careful during the holiday season people aren't looking they're not paying attention uh, so to start things off today I want, I want to talk to you guys about helmets um i believe that there's not a helmet out there that is there's no price on a helmet that's too high. Um, unless it just has like a ton of graphics or whatever on it. But as far as safety goes, um, your helmet is the number one piece of safety equipment on your body. Um, the, I'm not, I got two helmets here. Uh, one of them's a CDC, one of them's a showy. Um, one's mine, one's my girlfriend's. So, I'm gonna start out with my helmet, <clears throat> give you just a basic rundown. Um, this is a CDC, obviously full face carbon fiber helmet. Um, carbon fiber because it's light. Um, I do like to ride my bike a lot. Sometimes I go on some really long trips. Um, and to me, the lighter helmet um, is less stress or strain on the neck. So that's why I went with the carbon fiber. Um, uh, this is it's a pretty good helmet um, pretty quiet inside which to me is the most important thing of a helmet um, besides the safety factor because um, I like having it nice and quiet inside so I could hear my tunes or hear my girlfriend um, um, when she has to chat with me or something like that with the uh, scene the intercoms so um, I do have the aftermarket uh, a, a tinted lens on it um, the other feature inside which I, why I bought this helmet is it also has the drop down lens on the inside which I do use because when you're out like in the, um, in, in the bright sun, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, whatever, you're out in the desert, it's super bright as hell. Having both shades down, key. It is nice. Um, the drawback to having that drop down shade on the inside it's only DOT approved. It's not Snell. Um, so you do not have that little extra added feature uh, of safety when it comes to this helmet or any helmet that has a drop down uh, lens inside. <clears throat> I do believe um, the helmets that split in half where you can raise them, I don't know about those. If they are only DOT or if they are both, um, if somebody wants to leave comments down there at the bottom, That'd be great. Um, I do think those are really cool because when you come to a stop or whatever and you want to raise it up, get a drink of water, uh, whatever the case, um, that's a nice a nice feature to have is to be able to split the helmet. Um, but uh, so this is my CDC. It's a pretty good helmet. It's got plenty of breathing, um, plenty of uh, flow that goes in. It's got top vents. Uh, the mouthpiece opens up right here. Um, it's light. That's my helmet. I think I paid, it was about 500 bucks on sale. And, and that was mainly because it was uh, on the showroom floor for a year or whatever at Cycle Gear. Um, I'm not sponsored by Cycle Gear or they're not giving me any free products for this, but I do believe that they have the best choice in helmets um, out there. And they're going to be way cheaper than going to a dealer. So that was my helmet. This is my girlfriend's helmet. This is a showy. Um, it's a just it's this year's model. Um, it's a little bit heavier of a helmet. 
Um, but it's super quiet inside, really comfortable to wear. It has a nice snug fit all around um, the dome. Uh, I really like this helmet. I'm probably gonna end up getting myself one. Uh, Shoei, this is another really, really awesome feature. Uh, I believe Shoei is the only company that makes this. It is an auto darkening lens, um, so you don't have to have a tinted one and then worry about riding home at night um, and taking it off or swapping it out with another one. You, this is an auto, dark, uh, auto darkening lens. Also has an anti fog insert, which works really bitching as well. Um, this helmet has really good airflow. It has a drop down uh, vent in the front, <clears throat> and then it has the vent in the rear to help pull the air through the helmet on the inside. Um, and then also she has uh, her Cena intercoms as well um, on this on this helmet. Uh, the other cool thing I like about this helmet is right here in the front. It has the uh, this elastic flap, whereas on my CDC it was plastic and it's all ripped apart and, and you know it, it's it's a worn helmet so wear and tear expected but um but yeah so these are our full face helmets um one of the other cool little things i, I wanted to talk about real quick is the intercoms um i, I think these are a must if you care about listening listening to tunes and stuff like that or um if you got to answer a phone call which hopefully you don't, um, but I have. Um, these things, a lot of people get get frustrated with these. Um, I've been at the dealer uh, quite a few times. It's not like I hang out there or nothing, but every time I've been there, somebody's been in there trying to return their Cena intercom um, or they're trying to get it repaired and because they can't get it to work properly. Um, they can't either either they can't get it to connect to another helmet or uh, they can't hear it well what I'm going to tell you is and they don't explain this in the instructions that come with the device because they want you to go online and, and download the instructions or detailed instructions but if you hold the center button down on a device uh, in the middle of the jog dial um, you hold it down for like 10 or 15 seconds, and what it does is it goes into the uh, the, the inner uh, programming mode of the device, and then you use the jog dial to scroll through the the, the different uh, program uh, parameters, and um, one of them is audio boost, which you select it and then you hit the button once and it'll say audio boost enabled or audio boost on um, and then you hit um, then you uh, hit the I believe it's the phone button on the back it exits back out of that setting and then you can go on to the next one which might be you know um, helmet to helmet pairing or um, <clears throat> I believe there's radio stations and uh, stuff like that so um, don't please don't return your device because you you couldn't figure out how to use it um, I was actually one of those people I was getting frustrated I couldn't hear it that's why I wanted to take it back um, and then I you know I, I I ran into somebody and they said hey you know you got to do this you got to do that and I'm like oh cool um, the other thing is is like say you're riding you got your helmet connected to another helmet but you're riding solo well what happens is, is that the device continues to want to hunt for that other helmet. And it'll do, do it like every 15, 20 seconds. And it'll say pairing failed. But it interrupts your music, it interrupts your phone call, it interrupts everything, it just screws everything up. You have to go in and you have to unpair it from the other helmet, from your helmet. So I found that out because when I was riding solo, um, that's what was happening and then go to find out that's what you have to do. You have to unpair it in the settings from the other helmet and it won't do that no more. So um, with that being said, um, these are uh, some two basic helmets that uh, I've used. I've used a Simpson helmet. Um, I, I liked my Simpson helmet. 
uh, just didn't care for it. It was really loud inside. Wasn't a very good, good all around good fit. Like I, I didn't have uh, padding contact all the way around my helmet. It had a little bit of play, um, but uh, I, I do think that, that the Simpsons are a great product. Uh, just I, I don't care for. Uh, I, I care more more about the comfort than I do the look. So uh, I think Shoei is a is a good all around helmet. Um, it has a decent look. It's super comfortable. You got the auto darkening lens, <clears throat> and it's really quiet inside. So um, those are my helmets. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Um, Stay on the lookout for all those idiots because they're not looking out for you. And um, I hope you guys have a gr uh, great rest of your week. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, by the way. See you guys.